today we're gonna take a deep look at this guy right here, the Elite Mara X. And I'm actually really excited to bring this one to you because I believe this is a great machine for the money. And it's a lot of money, $1,550 worth of machine. So what does that get you? What does that get you in the world of espresso? Is that overpriced, underpriced? What is that all about? Why would somebody pay that much money for espresso? Now, in the world of espresso, this machine finds itself in the price bracket between that entry level appliance level machine, all the way up to those larger dual boilers that you can find in homes that are thousands of dollars. And this is why I'm excited to talk about the Mara X, because I believe the law of diminishing returns, the more you spend on espresso machines, the less you get back for your money. For example, this is a $550 espresso machine, but when you upgrade from something like this to something like this, this is a $3,000 dual boiler espresso machine. And that's where the Mara X comes in because the jump from a $500 machine to a $1,500 machine is a bigger upgrade than it would be from a $1,500 machine to like a $3,000 machine. That law of diminishing returns comes into play. So let's talk about this. What do you get for your money? What do you get with the Lalit Mara X? And is this a good espresso machine for you to consider? Now the Mara X is made by Lalit, which is a newer brand of the espresso world, but they've come out swinging with some amazing espresso machines right off the bat. This is a heat exchanger, but it's got things like temperature control, steam priority or brew priority, and all doing so in a pretty affordable package. Again, $1,550 is much cheaper than many other espresso machines in this bracket. So this is a heat exchanger espresso machine. And what that means is you can still steam and brew your coffee at the same time. But unlike a dual boiler espresso machine, it doesn't have a boiler dedicated for each one of those methods. Rather, it's got one boiler for the steam. At 1.8 liters, it's a pretty decent size of a boiler. But then what it does to have your brew water for the perfect temperature because steam water will be way too hot to brew coffee with is it uses a heat exchanger system to run the water through the boiler to heat up so that it's the perfect temperature by the time it gets to the brew group. Now the E61 group head heat exchanger machine is not new by any means. It's been around for decades now. But the Lalit Mara X brings a lot of new innovations to this style of machine that I'm so excited to tell you about. The first one being its steam temperature priority or brew temperature priority. You see, there's a little switch in behind this drip tray. In fact, there's two switches. The one on the side here changes it from steam temperature priority on the off button to brew temperature priority on the on button. Now in the steam temperature priority, this machine prioritizes steam and it will boil the water slightly hotter so that it can pump out better steam pressures for a longer period of time. The result in that though is that your coffee water will often either need a flush at the group head which is pretty common in heat exchangers of the past or you just pull up that group lever for a few seconds to flush out any overheated water and then it will be at that optimal brewing temperature. And again you'll have more steam pressure because of that. But this machine, something I've never seen on any other machine before, has something called brew temperature priority. And what this does is it lowers the steam pressure a little bit, but optimizes the water for the perfect temperature for brewing. And on the front of the machine, you have a three level switch to adjust your temperature between low, medium, or high, depending on the roast level of the coffee that you're using. And the lead in their manual talk about which one you should use depending on which temperature you wanna achieve. This is pretty sick. I'm pretty stoked about Lalite involving something like this with the brew temperature priority or the steam temperature priority. For me, I'm always gonna have that brew temperature priority on. For me, I'd always rather have that perfect espresso rather than high steaming temperatures. The Mar X also uses a vibration pump, which is pretty common at machines at this price point. What that means is you can't plumb this in. If you wanna plumb it into a direct line, it's just not possible. Now for a vibration pump, they're normally a little bit louder and the Mar X it just isn't. It's the quietest vibration pump I've ever heard. It's also got a standby mode for if you're not wanting to use it, you can save some power and go into a sleep mode and with a flick of the lever, bring it back to brew temperature pretty quickly. And in many ways, when I look at this machine, it reminds me of my Bianca. It's kind of like a little brother to the Bianca. Obviously it doesn't have features like the flow profiling paddle. You can add that by buying that afterwards. And it's not a dual boiler, but it is a pretty great little machine and using it feels very similar to what I know of my Bianca. All right, let's talk about build quality with this machine because if you're buying a $1,500 machine, you'd hope it was built well. 
and with the Lilit Mar X, it is. This is a fully stainless steel, again, hand-built in Italy espresso machine. Like I've mentioned, things like its quiet vibration pump really speak to the, even the quality of internals on this machine with lots of gaskets and rubber housings to keep everything very dampened and quiet. The water tank itself is pretty great too. It's separate from the cup tray. And so by just removing this little cap here, you can get to the water tank pretty easily and it pops right out so you can fill that up. Lilit even supplies you with a little water filter with your machine, which I don't use because I use third wave water for my espresso, but if you don't, if you have hard water where you live, then it's a great option to keep your machine lasting for a long time. Now I will say the design of the Mara X is incredibly interesting. Everything from its front facing porta filter to its very tall and lanky design, it kind of reminds me of one of those old Holland tall skinny townhouses that seem really just unproportionate and tall. But hey, looks are subjective and I actually think this is a great looking machine. It's just a very interesting design choice in my opinion. It also has a non-burn steam one, which is pretty great when you're making milk-based drinks and you don't have time to wipe the wand right away. So what are some things that I don't love about the Mara X? Well, there's a couple things for sure and you can definitely tell where Lilith has cut some corners to keep those costs down. The biggest complaint I have is that it doesn't have a digital display or control center on it. Other machines that Lilith makes like the Bianca or the Elizabeth have that LCC or Lilith control center and that is missing on this machine. Now I get it that they want to keep costs down in the production of the Mara X, but I feel like, and maybe I'm alone here, I'd rather pay an extra $100 to have that control center integrated in the machine and have a little bit more adjustability and things like standby time, being able to dial in the temperature to what I want rather than a three-way switch. Those are things that I would personally love to have. I think that would make this machine even better. And if they make another Mara X, that would be my recommendation for Lilith if they're watching this video. I also have to make comment that these feet, the feet on this, okay, here's here's here quick story. I decided to put this on my bar back there for a bit while I was testing this machine out for a few weeks. And I decided to drag it across the table. And that was the worst mistake I ever made because it has little rubbers that pop off. And I dug trenches into my brand new countertops that I just installed in this room. I mean, not a reason not to buy this machine, but if you do own the Mara X or you plan to get one, do not drag it. Do not drag it. <sighs> the other thing I don't love is the standby mode on this machine is a little annoying. To be honest, it's very annoying. I actually turned it off. It goes into standby in a very short amount of time. Whereas if I turn the machine on, have to walk away for an hour and come back, it's in standby. And then I have to wait another 10, 15 minutes for it to brew up the temperature. Again, if it had that control center, you'd be able to adjust that, but I couldn't find a way to adjust that. I just turned it right off completely. And one last thing I don't love about the Mar X is in brew temperature priority, the steam pressure leaves a lot to be desired. Now I know this kind of contradictory to what I said earlier that I'd always take good brew temperature over steam pressure. And that's still the case, but I just wish that when I did turn in that brew temperature that it had more steam pressure. Now there is a little hack that I learned on the internet. Sometimes the internet can be a wonderful place. And somebody pointed out to me after pulling the brew lever or pulling a shot, in the middle of the shot, your steam pressure will actually spike up. And it seems like the lead is low key added a feature where while you're brewing coffee, it spikes that brew temperature in the boiler to raise that steam pressure to keep up. It's kind of cool. You know, I've seen that. This is plenty of steam pressure for most people, but I think this will be a great machine for many to learn how to steam milk pretty well on because it's a little slower and it'll give you time to learn how to texture your milk. All right, I think the only thing left for us to do now is to pull a shot on the Mara X. Uh, but before we do, let me give a huge shout out to the people who made this video possible, Etika. Etika is a Canadian coffee retailer who absolutely love coffee. They sell everything from espresso machines like the Lilith Mara X or coffee equipment. But what I love about Etika is that they're not just retailers, they're passionate coffee lovers. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description below. If you're interested in an espresso machine like the Mara X or any other espresso or coffee equipment, be sure to check Etika out. I love them, I support them. That's where I buy a lot of my equipment. So I would encourage you to check them out as well. Thank you Etika for making this video possible in sponsoring this video. Well, that's a good shot. Now, something I forgot to mention on the Mara X is that it has a really unique mechanical pre-infusion. Between its vibration pump and the E61 group head, it ramps up the pressure in about 10 to 11 seconds, which is a really unique for a machine like this. 
and I like it. I find the coffees taste really nice and balanced. And while I would like the pump pressure to probably be slightly less because it's a little bit over nine bars, I haven't found this to be a terrible issue and definitely not a reason why I wouldn't buy this machine but definitely unique that it has that mechanical pre-infusion. Overall, I think this is an awesome espresso machine. And if you're in the market for a prosumer level espresso machine and you don't need to do a boiler and you wanna save some money, this might be the best option on the market. While there are other options, we're gonna compare those in future videos. I love the Mar X and I would easily recommend it to anybody interested in an E61 brew group that wants a heat exchanger machine. In my opinion, this is one of the most innovative heat exchange machines on the market. So would I recommend the Mara X? Well, absolutely. Yes, I would. I think this is a fantastic espresso machine, especially given the price. I think Lalit really knows their customer here. Now, while it is high and it can look a little lanky, I do think this is a beautiful machine. And I think it has a lot of features that other machines more expensive than the Mar X just don't have. If you're interested in a heat exchanger and you want an E61 group head and you want some of the features that the Mar X has, I think there is no better option for the price than this. Now, while there are other machines on the market that our competitors to the Mara X. We're not gonna compare that in this video. Again, I'm gonna do that in a future video. So if you haven't yet, I would really love if you hit that subscribe button down below. I have some goals this year and I would love for you to be a part of one of my first 20,000 subscribers. We're almost there. I'm just so grateful for the journey. If you wanna see that video, be sure to turn on notifications by hitting that little bell so you don't miss it. And you guys would be so surprised of how much that like button down below changes the game for my videos. So if you like this video at all, or you think this video will help somebody out, hit that like button down below. I'd honestly really appreciate that. If you have any questions about it, ask me down in the comments below. That's where I'll be hanging out and I'll try to answer as many questions as you have. Do you have the MarX? Did I miss something? Let me know in the comments down below. All right, thank you Etika for sponsoring this video. Thank you for watching this video. I'm really grateful for each one of you. Have a great day, peace.